Good morning, Crossroads Church. This morning, I want to talk about progress. You ever heard the saying, practice makes perfect? Well, none of us are perfect, are we? So this morning, we're going to say practice makes progress. But before I get started, I want to say this, because I don't want you to misunderstand the message that I have for you this morning, and I want to let you know that sports are not important. Okay? Sports are not important. The most important thing in life that matters is your relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. However, sports can teach us a lot about life. Sports can teach us a lot about discipline. And you see, Harlow started pitching in softball this year. And seven months ago, she couldn't even hit the strike zone. I mean, not even a close call. She struggled. But Harlow don't miss practice. Because Harlow don't miss practice now, Harlow is one of the best pitchers in our summer league. You know why? Because practice makes progress. Seven months ago, Harlow couldn't hit the ball either. She was so scared of the ball, she would step out of the box as soon as it left the pitcher's hand. And for those of you that know me very very well know, that alone about put me in the grave. (laughs) But Harlow doesn't miss practice. And a little at a time, she went from stepping out of the box to standing two feet from the plate, standing two feet from the plate, from getting close to the plate. She went from not swinging at all to swinging and missing. And she went from swinging and missing to this right here. Harlow, first base hit. 4-28-2024, 4-28-2024, p.m. You know why that happened? Because practice makes progress. It's not the hit that's important, church. It's the progress that's important. And as Harlow struggled through the year, And there will be many of you that can testify to this, especially over here in this section. I didn't hold my daughter's hand and tell her everything was going to be okay. I didn't tell my daughter everything was going to be okay no matter what happens. I told her she will be as good as she is willing to put the work in for. I told her that a great outcome comes from a great effort. I didn't give her a ribbon for last place because winning happens when you get tired of losing. You don't become great on game day. You become great when the work you do before the game even gets here. Anybody in here like getting beat at a game? I sure don't. But the truth is we're not always going to win. But as a coach, losing's not what's hard for me. As a coach, what's hard is watching my team lose because they weren't willing to practice. Okay, Josh, enough softball, so what's the point? Well, here's my point, church. We should all be experiencing spiritual progress in our lives. Our lives should look more and more like Jesus day in and day out and week in and week out and month in and month out and year in and year out. And it takes time. And it takes effort. And it takes work. And you can't just show up when you want to. You can't just show up on Sunday. You can't just do the bare minimum. You have to show up for spiritual practice every single day. And no, it's not easy. And yes, you're going to fail. But as long as you keep showing up for practice, as long as you keep putting the effort in, you're going to see progress. This is the final week of our My Dysfunctional Family series. And I'm not here to bark at you this morning, church, but I've seen a lot of dysfunction happen over the last five weeks. Which isn't a surprise, since the enemy has been destroying relationships since Adam and Eve. 
But what I've also seen the last five weeks is a lot of, pe- a lot of people not showing up to practice. Now, I can't speak for all of you, and I know a lot of people put a lot into this series. All I can do is speak for the men's group, and we had a wonderful men's group, and we have a lot of godly men in that men's group, and we had a great series. But let me say this. It was the smallest men's group I've ever been a part of in three years. During a series that's supposed to make us better for our families. I'll just tell you this about me, church. God has kicked my butt over my head time and time again in the last several years of my life because I'm flawed and because I make a lot of mistakes. But what God has taught me is even while I'm flawed and even while I make all these mistakes, you still keep showing up to practice because every time I do, God is waiting for me there, ready to be my coach. And when God is your coach, you'll stop losing at all the things that God wants you to win. We don't have to lose, but at the same time, you have to want to win. And you can't win without God's direction in your life. You can't do it. So I'll leave you with this this morning. When game day gets here, church, in other words, when your struggles come, when life starts to fall apart, when challenges start happening in your life, when trials come, whatever that situation looks like for you in your life, I'm going to tell you the same thing I told Harlow when she started softball. You'll be as good in that situation as you were in the practice. This morning, in just a few minutes, Pastor Ronnie and Miss Carrier are going to come sit up here on this stage, and they're going to share with us what 30 plus years of practicing looks like and probably what the result of of some of that is. Let's not just pay attention this morning. Let's learn from 30 plus years of experience, amen?